Okay, so today we're going to talk about your sewer ejection pumps and your starter panel for them. Um, you have one, pretty much a spitting image of it, a few doors down for your stormwater drains. Um, it's all across the line start. There's no control panel inside really, it's just HOAs. Your starters with your overload settings that are all set. Um, this is where your floats tie into, where your pump motors tie into as well. Um, not tied into your BMS whatsoever. Uh, it's standalone and that's it. You have two pumps down there, pump one, pump two, level. Your first pump, you know, comes on first, can't achieve, goes to your second pump and then your high water alarm. Um, the only way you're gonna know if you're in alarm is if you're down here. You'll probably hear it. It's pretty loud um, and you'll see this light going off. Um, pumps are made by HOMA pumps and you can pull them out by the chains. All the floats have been set for the correct levels, high water, all that. And it just basically goes from there to there and it's gravity fed the rest of the way so okay and then this is where your floats are located and your pumps you can see how we got them all set down there and to pull them up you just take those chains and they slide right up i recommend two guys they are pretty heavy not bad coming up but once you get them off the slides there and then try to get them up out of the hole it's kind of awkward but not too bad we've done it so um. do we have any kind of grinders or anything on them it's just a, just a basic impeller um, we actually changed these impellers out because the existing ones were too big the ones that they spec for it so that's a long reach. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you might want to have someone hold on to you by your Yeah. So Right. So so, it looks pretty yeah. good for a sewage. I know it doesn't make Yeah. <laughs>